Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, we're going to talk about the side relationships of the 157590 special right triangle. And um, the side relationships for this uh, special right triangle are harder to derive than uh, the other two we've talked about, the 454590 and the 36C90. Uh, but it's also well worth the effort. Um, I think this is a much more fun video than the other two uh, special right triangles. So here's how we're going to come up with the side relationships. We're going to start with a regular dodecagon, and we're going to divide up the regular dodecagon in two different ways. One is captured by the visual on the left, and the other uh, captured by the visual on the right. So looking at the visual on the left, we see that we've divided um, the regular dodecagon into six congruent squares and 12 congruent um, equilateral triangles. I notice that the squares and the equilateral triangles sh share a side. Um, and so all of the small segments in this visual um, are equal. And they're also equal to one side of the dodecagon. Um, now, the other way to divide it up is into 12 congruent isosceles uh, triangles. And we've taken one of those 12 congruent isosceles triangles and we've divided it up into two uh, congruent uh, right triangles. And either one of these right triangles is a 15, 75, 90 degree right triangle. And you can think a little bit more about that, um, but it has to be true, right? One of these two right triangles in here has to be a 15, 75, 90. And we're going to concentrate on the one on the right. So we're going to concentrate on this one. And we've labeled its three sides, X, H, and Y. And labeling this uh, shortest side X is appropriate since one side of the dodecagon is supposed to measure 2x, as we have here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the area of uh, this uh, regular dodecagon using the visual on the left, and we're going to also calculate its area using the visual on the right, and then we're going to set the two expressions equal to each other. Because it doesn't matter how we find the area of the dodecagon and how we choose to divide it up, uh, its area should stay the same if it's the same um, dodecagon. And we've ensured that it is the same dodecagon and uh, saying that it's a regular dodecagon and also that uh, its side, um, one side of it, measures 2x in either visual. Yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So let's get on with it then. Um, so using the visual on the left, we see that the area of one of the squares is um, 2x all squared, and that's just 4x squared. And the area of one of the equilateral triangles will have to be root 3 over 4 times 1 side squared, and so root 3 over 4 times 2x all squared, and that we can simplify to x squared times root 3. And since uh, this dodecagon here on the left is made of uh, 6 squares and 12 equilateral triangles, the area of the dodecagon uh, can be found by adding 6 times 4x squared, so 6 of the squares, and 12 times x squared times root 3, so 12 of the equilateral triangles. And we can uh, take that expression and simplify it to this. Yeah? Okay, cool. Now, let's move on to the visual on the right. Uh, the visual on the right, the area of one of the isosceles triangles, one of the 12, is 1 half times 2x times these, this altitude h. And that reduces to just x times h. So then um, what we have is that um, the area of the regular dodecagon will have to be 12 times xh because it's made of 12 of these isosceles um, triangles by uh, the visual on the right, right? OK, cool, cool, cool. Um, all right. And as we said, the area of um, the area of the dodecagon should stay the same whether we calculate it using the visual on the right or the visual on the left. And so we conclude 12xh will have to equal um, 12 times, yes, you get the expression. And here, uh, what we can do is divide both sides of this very last equation we displayed by 12x and get an expression for h all in terms of x. And that'll mean that h is equal to 2x plus x times root 3. So when the shortest side opposite the 15 degree angle and the 15, 75, 90 has value x, then the side opposite the 75 degree angle will have value 2x plus 
x times root 3. And then using the Pythagorean theorem uh, on this 1575-90 degree triangle, we can solve for y all in terms of x. And the expression that will help us do that will be the following, which is that x squared plus h squared is equal to y squared. And I've substituted the expression for h that's in terms of x. And um, going from this, if we solve for y uh, with just a few algebraic steps, we can conclude that y is equal to 2x times the square root of 2 plus square root of 3. Yeah? Okay, cool. Isn't that neat? Yeah, so here is the summary of the side relationships of the 15, um, 75, 90. In a couple of places, I stuttered a little, so I'm like tempted to re-record this video, but I'm like trying to do the Jay-Z and deliver it like in one take. So I think I'm going to keep it. Um, yeah, like there's like a video of like Jay-Z recording uh, with Linkin Park. Like I'm no match for Jay-Z. I'm like weak. Um, I'm like recording like my like, yeah, like, I don't know, like 500th video. Um, so yeah, I'll stop here and <laughs> quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> Bye.